Hi, welcome to Craft Little Things. I'm Andrea and um, I've just run through books 34, 35, 36 and 37 of Big and Little Crochet. Um, you can see my previous video for that. And now I'm going to make this Blush Puff Star Hexagon, which is from book 34. Um, some people are cringe at me pressing down the um, spine of the book. So you need your four millimetre hook, which you get with your books. This one isn't that one. This is one from a stash. You need teal yarn, which is this colour. I've got some left over. Um, but you do get a ball with this book. Um, leftover river and leftover blush. So with the blush yarn, we're going to start off. And we're going to... Do you know I haven't crocheted for... I don't know how many months so this is all new to me as well we're going to start with the hook the four millimeter hook uh, the blush yarn and we're going to do a chain six and join with a slip stitch to form a ring so we start off with our slip knot um, I will zoom in a little bit closer not too close because if I go in too close um, it can be a bit off put in. Um, so I'm going to join the slip knot. So you make a slip knot however you prefer to make it. Um, I have got um, an absolute beginner's video on making a slip knot which is really close up and really slow um, and I suggest that you practice and practice and practice because if you can't do a slip knot you're going to find it hard to crochet. So then we're going to chain six. One, two, three, four five and six and then we're going to put our hook into the first chain pull through a loop of yarn pull it through the loop on our hook and make ourselves a little circle to crochet into you see be very careful because sometimes you can accidentally go into this stitch but make sure you go into the circle And then for our first round, we're going to chain two, one, two. And then we're going to do three treble clusters into the ring. Now, if you're not sure what that is, on the back page, the inside back cover, there's um, all the descriptions of your stitches. So, a three treble cluster... We yarn over, put our hook into the hole, pull up a loop and then we yarn over and pull through the first two. Then we yarn over into the space, into the ring, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two again. And then we yarn over into the loop, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two again and then we yarn over and we pull through all four on the loop on the hook so we have a nice three trebles all joined together and this first chain two is acting like a fourth treble so it's effectively we've got a four treble cluster then we chain three and then we do a four treble cluster into the ring because that's what we want. We want six, we're going to end up with six four treble clusters. So yarn over into the ring, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, that's one. Yarn over into the ring, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, that's two. Yarn over into the loop, into the ring. Pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, that's three. Yarn over, into the ring, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, that's four. So now you've got five loops on your on your hook. You yarn over and you pull through all five and then you chain three. Okay? Yarn over, do it again. Pull up a loop. 
yarn over, pull through two, that's one, yarn over, into the circle, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, that's two, yarn over, into the circle, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, that's three, yarn over, into the circle, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, that's four, you've got five loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all five and chain three. So that's one, four triple cluster, two, three. So you need another three. So yarn over, into the loop, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. And you slip stitch into the top of the first cluster. Now I find when you're doing a pattern like this it's best to chain two and use your slip stitch as your third stitch. It's up to you but I, I just find you get a better shape, more even shape. And now I'm just going to pull, so we've got that hole in the middle and we've got our six clusters and that's chain two that we did at the very beginning is part of that stitch okay so now we finish off this colour so we yarn over and pull through get your embroidery scissors and cut that off so we have you can see we've already got a hexagon shape we've got six clusters and six spaces and a hole in the middle don't get rid of that because you'll need that again later now you take your river yarn and you join it into any of the three chain spaces. Now you can join by just pulling it through and knotting it on or you can crochet it on, join it however you choose to join it, it's up to you. If you knot it on then you put your hook through and just get yourself going with a chain. And chain two and then we're going to do a puff stitch three chains and a puff stitch in the same space now a puff stitch is a three treble puff stitch in this case so we yarn over we put our hook into the space yarn over and pull through and we pull it up to the height of this chain okay and then we do it again and again and then we should have seven loops on our hook yarn over and pull through all seven and then a little chain to secure it so two more chains and then another puff stitch so yarn over into a space pull up, yarn over into the space, pull up, yarn over into the space, pull up, so have seven on the hook, yarn over, pull through all seven and do a little chain to finish it off. <clears throat> and then we just do that in every space around, there's no chains in between, okay. So yarn over, into the next space, pull up, yarn over, next space, pull up, yarn over, next space, pull up, yarn over, pull through all seven on the hook, chain three, and repeat into the same space. Yarn over, yarn over, yarn over. And over pull through all of those secure with a stitch and then move on to the next space
it doesn't say on the pattern but we join it to the top of our first puff stitch slip stitch and fasten off there we go this is the shape we want to start to see now for the third round we're going to join the teal and again join it to any chain three space so that's our spaces between Again, you can tie it on, you can crochet it on, you can do whatever you want to do with it. <clears throat> and we're going to chain three. Uh, sorry, to chain two. And we're going to do a puff stitch, a chain three and a puff stitch in the same space. Okay, so yarn over. Into that space, pull up a loop, yarn over, into the space, pull up a loop, yarn over, into the space, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three, chain three, uh, sorry, pull through all seven, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all seven. Finish off with a stitch now we're going to put a puff stitch into the space between these two puff stitches okay so yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through all seven and a chain to secure it And then in the next space, we're going to do two puff stitches again, separated by a chain three. So pull through all seven, chain three. And pull through all seven. Secure the chain one. And then we're going to do one into the next space. So yarn over. So that's the space between the puff stitches. And then we'll finish off with a slip stitch into the top of the puff stitch from the beginning. And then we will finish off that colour. So there we go. These are going to be our corners where we have the two puff stitches together. And these straight, the ones with just one puff stitch, are going to be our sides as the hexagon develops. Now we're going back to the blush yarn. And we're going to join this into any chain three space. So it's one of our corners. You can sew all your stragglers in as you go along. You can try and work them in or you can just leave them all to the end and do them at the end that's what I'm going to do so join blush 20 chain 3 space chain 3 so that's 1, 2, 3 
and do a treble in the same space. So a treble is a double in the US. So yarn over into the space, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, two, yarn over, pull. And then in the next two spaces, we want to do a treble, two chains, and a treble. In the next two spaces. So yarn over a treble going into the next space now, two chains and a treble. And then into the corner space we want to do two trebles. Two chains and two trebles. So keep forming those corners. See? And then we carry on, just put in a treble into the next space. Two chains. And treble all into that same space, move on to the next space and do the same thing, treble, two chains, treble, into the corner space we put two trebles, So here we are at the end. Now this one wants to be a um, corner. So we'll yarn over and we'll pop in two double crochets, trebles in UK terms. And then we'll do one chain and then instead of doing the second chain like I said earlier, I prefer to do um, make the slip stitch my second chain into the top of that chain three and then we can finish off and then we're on to the final round of this one okay so we join the teal and chain two and then we put two half trebles so yarn over into that space pull up a loop yarn over pull through all three yarn over into the space pull up a loop yarn over pull through all three chain two and do two more half trebles, which are half doubles in the US. And now what we want to do is into the next three stitches, one, two, three, we want to put a half treble. And that's into the stitches, not the spaces. So that's one, two, three. Um, your first stitch can be hidden sometimes so be careful not to miss it then I want to put a half treble into this space here and then a half treble into the next two stitches which is this one and this one and then we're in a space again so a half treble into the space and then we want to put three uh, a half treble into the next three stitches so don't miss this first stitch otherwise you'll be all out of kilter half treble is one of my favorite stitches because it works up quite quickly and it's not a lot of fuss <laughs> And then you're into the corner, so you want to do two half trebles 
in the same space, two chains and then two hard trebles all still in the same space. And then you want to put your three half trebles in your stitches. This is your first stitch. So one, two, three, one half treble into your space, half treble into the next two stitches. A half treble into the space and then a half treble into the next three stitches and then you're going to work your corner again so two half trebles chain two and two half trebles and you're just going to repeat that all the way around just to finish that last edge of your hexagon. And so here I am at the end. I'm just going to do my final stitch into that space there. And then I'm just going to into that um, stitch there. And then I'm just going to join to the top of that original chain two and finish off. And that is that. That's the end of that one. I'm just going to sew in the ends of the stragglers now, and that's done. That's a nice one. And I'll go on and do the next one now from book 35. Okay, thanks for joining me. Take care. Bye bye.